Hi and welcome to this video Windows Registry Analysis with Red Reaper. In this video we are going to cover another important source of evidence for a Windows Forensic Analysis, that is the Windows Registry. To begin, we are going to introduce it, uh, its structure, location and features and explain why it's so relevant for the Forensic Analyst. Then uh, we are going to introduce RegReaper, an open source tool specifically designed to analyze the registry. The Windows registry is a hierarchical database that stores not only the configuration settings of the operating system, but also of applications, users and devices. The registry is a valuable source of information that needs to be considered uh, when uh, performing a forensic analysis of a Windows image. The information and artifacts that could be extracted from the registry range uh, from the uh, OS system settings to the installed and executed programs, from the user's activities to the uh, connected devices and many others. Examining a certain artifacts uh, like, for example, the autorun keys, could also uh, lead to the detection of uh, malware on the investigated system. The registry is composed of binary data files, also called hives. The main registry hives that are common through different versions of Windows are the SAM, security, software and system hives. These hives are located in the uh, System32 config folder under the Windows System directory. There are also a registry hives that are specific to each user of the system. These are the anti-user dot and the user class dot hives. These hives are located under uh, the user uh, profile uh, directory. Uh, but the path of the folders in which are located uh, slightly differ between versions of Windows up to XP and the new newer ones. The SAM hive contains information about the local system users and groups, including their passwords uh, stored in a hashed format. The security hive stores the system security settings, such as the account's audit, user rights and application's control policies. The software hive, as the name says, stores the Windows configuration as well as the installed programs. Finally, the system hive contains the settings of the system, and of the, de of the devices that are currently or have been previously been attached to the computer. The information in the registry is structured into basic elements, keys and values. Keys are containers similar to folders that could include values or other keys. Values are objects similar to files identified by a name, a type and the associated data value. The highest keys in the hierarchy are called root keys, and the most important is the H key local machine key, under which are mapped uh, as sub keys the contents of the four main registry hives we have seen SAM, security, software, and system. Users and IT admins generally interact with the registry using regedit or similar editor programs. This approach isn't very effective when dealing with forensic analysis because the registry has quite a complex structure and simply using an editor will certainly make us miss many artifacts. To automatize the analysis of the registry, there is a very useful tool pre-installed on Kali Linux, RegReaper. It is a program written in parallel by Arlan Carvey and comes in the form of both a graphical user interface and a command line tool. It has originally been written for Windows, but also runs on Linux uh, through the Wine program. RegReaper has a modular structure. 
as it's capable of running many plugins on the Hive files, each plugin extracting different types of artifacts. There are hundreds of plugins available, also written in Perl, but are continuously being updated and everyone could write and add his or her plugins. In this video, we are going to use the graphical version of Reg Reaper. Before running the tool, if our forensic system is 64-bit, we will have to install the 32-bit version of Wine. To do so, we execute the following command. Then we run the usual apt-get install uh, command. In this case, uh, the output says that Wine32 is already installed. Reg Reaper works on registry hive files, so we must find a way to take them out of our split row images. It's here that comes to our rescue a tool from the IFF Lib Suite, IFF Use. This tool can combine all the split image files into a single one that we can then mount under our local file system. First, uh, we create a mount directory, for example, mnt image. Then uh, we list uh, the image files uh, contained in, this, uh, in, um, in the current directory. We can notice that the uh, image file names uh, have been renamed adding a zero uh, before uh, the ending number. This because a fuse only accepts uh, image file names that end with three digits. Now we can execute the ffuse command. Uh, giving as uh, input uh, the name of the image files. In this case, uh, the name of the first uh, image file and the mount directory. Displaying the contents of the uh, MNT uh, image uh, directory, we can see that the, this file, this image file, uh, has been created. This file combines all the split image files. Now we can mount it, but before uh, we move into the uh, MNT image uh, directory. And then create a mount directory. Now we can execute the mount command. Notice that we have, that we have used uh, the uh, RO option to mount the image read-only and specified the offset of the NTFS partition in bytes. That is uh, the starting uh, sector, uh, 63, multiplied by the uh, sector size, uh, 512 bytes. 
Now we can assess the file system under uh, MNT uh, suspect. and move uh, to the uh, Windows System32 config directory uh, where the um, registry hives are located. We have to copy uh, the uh, SAM security software and system hives to our local uh, to our folder, our examination folder. Now we move into the user's profile directory that under Windows XP is uh, documents and settings. And uh, we would have to copy uh, all the uh, anti users and um, user class that I uh, files of all the user accounts. Now that we have all uh, the registry I uh, that interest us, we can execute a reg reaper. To run read, uh, we click on the applications menu, then forensics, digital forensics, uh, reg reaper. The interface of the program is very simple. First, we have to select the Hive file, for example, the System Hive. Then we have to select the Output Report file. and then the profile. The profile defines a list of plugins that are going to be executed on the Hive. Each type of Hive has its relative profile and we can select it in the drop-down menu. In this case, we select the uh, system uh, plugin file, the system profile. We click on the repeat button and the st status of all the running plugins is displayed in the text window. When the execution is finished, the status bar at the bottom of the window shows uh, the word done. We repeat this procedure for each registry hive, selecting uh, the appropriate plugin file, the appropriate profile. Now that all the hives have been analyzed, we can open some of the report files with an editor to give a look at the extracted information. The first we open is the SAM report file that, as we can see, shows info about users and groups. Here the most useful information seems to be when the account has been created and the last login time. And of course, uh, if uh, the type of the account, for example, uh, this uh, the default admin user account. Next, we open the system report file that I edited with the LibreOffice program to show it more clearly. This file reports a lot of information. In particular, interested information are displayed about uh, the computer name, the uh, ID drives, the network interfaces,
the list of services and drivers and at the bottom of the file the USB drives connected. This is a very useful information for a forensic investigation because it displays a list of all the connected USB devices, the time when they have been connected, and even the model and the serial number of the device. We also give a look at the anti-user dat report file, where we are going to find the information relative to the user's activities. One of the most relevant uh, information artifact reported in this file is the most recently used lists, that provide us uh, a list of the most recently used files. These files are also uh, grouped by uh, file type. Other important registry uh, keys are the uh, type paths and type URLs. And then the uh, auto run, uh, the auto start keys. The auto start keys uh, lists uh, all the programs and services that are automatically started when the user logs in. The main of these keys is the software Microsoft uh, Windows current version run key. These keys are one of the main indicators of malware infection, because malware typically use these keys to achieve persistence on the system. Another important key to consider is the user assist key that displays a list of the executed programs along with the date and time and the running count. There are a lot of info and artifacts that can be retrieved from the registry and in this video we have only looked at those which are generally considered the most relevant. As with any type of artifacts, their importance greatly depends on what we are looking for.